your state may be coming after your home. That's because of a federal law that's been on the books since 1993 and is getting a burst of scrutiny right now, with it mandating that all states recoup Medicaid expenses by seizing the assets of dead people who received long-term care through the program before they died. And in many cases, that includes their homes, which you might say is already cruel enough on its own. But what makes it so much worse is that many people actually have no idea that their property is on the chopping block when they sign up for Medicaid. Like this woman in Tennessee whose mother suffered from Alzheimer's. Where she told the AP that she initially cared for the mother on her own. But then when she herself was diagnosed diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015, she had to turn to Medicaid for help, with a representative from her local office advising her to drain her mother's bank account so she would qualify for Medicaid, which she did, and she used those funds to pay for an assisted living facility. But she had no idea that when her mother died in 2021, Tennessee would send her a bill for $225,000, as well as seeking to force her to pay by selling the home. And the thing is, this program doesn't even bring in that much money. It turns out states only collect around 1% of the more than $150 billion Medicaid spends yearly on long-term care. So for the states, that money is like a drop in the bucket, but for these families, it's everything.